The No Fake Channel. Checking in. Jonathan here, and for this episode of Dad's Home Gym, nope, I'm not in my home gym dungeon. Today we are in the office to discuss, to analyze, to look through and decide if it might be right for you. Bells of Steel latest drop, their brand new release, an entire new rack system that I happen to think is exciting because it reminds me of playing with Legos and I'll get into it. But if this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard new home gym videos every Thursday at 1 p.m. A brief bit of background information on Bells of Steel. If you might not be familiar with that company, they have been around since 2010. They started off in Canada, A, eh? but they also do sell out of the United States as well. They are a, typically a budget um, company with regards to what they produce, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I happen to really appreciate their YouTube channel as well as their social media accounts because I feel like they're very honest and open about what they produce, what they deliver, and who it's right for. And there is some serious value on their products. I know I personally have reviewed their three-in-one plyo boxes, and those things are industrial grade. They um, recently released a brand new racking system called the Hydra. Supposedly, you never have to upgrade, and it is available for pre-order, and if you do pre-order, you get 10% off. So I wanted to today just dive in to what it is. So this is supposedly going to be a customizable, interchangeable, bomb-proof power rack of your dreams. Now, that is quite a mouthful and quite a lot of promises, but let's dive in to what it is. We are going to just see what it offers. So they've got a couple of things going on. So they have a true three by three um, power rack system. So that is three by three on inches, not with metric. And it is going to ultimately be available and work very well with a lot of domestic power racks. One of the problems I personally see with a lot of home gym equipment is that they don't necessarily play nice between companies. And a lot of people who end up buying a power rack from one company have to be forced to ultimately buy all of their equipment from that specific company going forward to ensure that it will fit and that it will work. And that is, as for a consumer, a bit unfair. And so what they have done, at least in my opinion, is to make these kind of like Legos so that, you know, obviously when you play with Legos, it's fun to put the parts together, play with them for a while. But the best part about Legos is that when you're done playing with whatever building or machine that you crafted, you can take it apart and build whatever your imagination desires. And that's what they do here. They allow you the ability, at least in theory, to buy these racks. And then when you feel like upgrading, you're not locked in to that rack. A lot of people, no, no, no shame in it, will buy a budget small rack for their home gym, trying to see if it's something that they like. And when they go to upgrade, they are left with a rack that they have to sell at an extremely big loss because there's no real linear way to upgrade that rack to another rack. And here you can see that you can go with the typical four post. You can also go with the flat foot design as well as a six post, a folding four post, now, one of the major problems, at least that I see, is when people are starting off on their home gym, they don't know if they're committed to the home gym lifestyle. And frankly, they don't know if they want to commit big buku dollars to that. So they will start off with a smaller rack, um, a half rack, or even just a squat stand in order to see, hey, is this right for me? And then after a few years, ultimately, they try to upgrade that rack only to find out that that rack is locked in. There's no way to upgrade that rack. They need to sell it at a very big loss and then almost start over. Well, Bells of Steel said, no, no, uh-uh. We They designed a system that allows you to start off if you want with this simple squat stand you see here, but all of these parts will be usable in future builds. If you wanna take your squat stand to a half rack or if you wanna take whatever pieces of your half rack or squat stand and turn it into a four post or six post rack, you can. Um, it allows them to use the same exact pieces um, and that's a great thing. That overall is an amazing thing for many of you looking to kind of either dip your toes in a little bit and not have a big fear of loss of value. Or if you say, 
I don't have the money for a full rack or maybe not even the space for a full power rack, but I'd like to start off with maybe a squat stand knowing full well that in the future you can upgrade. Let's dive into the shallow end. I wanna build out a six post rack, talk about one minor concern, which is probably a non-issue, and then one suggestion to Bells of Steel. So let's go into the Hydra series and let's do this. It's I've actually been playing around with this and it is nice. So this is a true three by three upright, 11 gauge steel, thousand pound capacity with five eighths inch holes, which is nice that are standardizing those holes at five eighths of an inch so that most of their attachments are gonna work with all of your other power racks and if you do have other attachments they should work with this power rack. Now you can see you can go with the 72 inch if you've got a super short um, system with regards to your height of your home gym. I always recommend going with the tallest rack you can fit into your space even though that is going to add a bit of money. So let's talk about depth. We're going to go with 30 inch. If you have the space man maybe go with the 43 but th for most people 30 inch is um, preferred plate storage depth now they have three options which i love and options are where it's at as a consumer i want as many options as possible we're going to go with 17 inches and move on now for the pull-up bar i always recommend because i am absolutely biased the multi-grip pull-up bar i just happen to really love that now let's talk about the middle cross piece now you can go with another, if you want to save some money, you could go with this regular pull-up bar. And again, that is something you could use in the future, but I'm going to go with the 43 inch cross member, save a bit of money over the logo plate. All right. The back cross piece, I'm going to, we're going to go with another cross member. And again, what's great about this is these are all going to be usable in the future. If you upgrade this rack, or even if you wanted to split it out into two racks, um, something crazy down the road or even sell off some of this. Now for, for safeties, I happen to really like the straps, but um, it's more of a preference. Clearly you've got options. And if you really wanted to save some money, you could go with the loading pins and then later on down the road, go with the st safety straps. All right, now one of the interesting things on here is you can pick your color. I'm gonna go with red on the safety straps for color. That is interesting. I'm surprised or I'm curious if they're gonna have options on picking your color for the rack itself going forward and uh, just a little bit of storage here now we're, this is really a fairly big build that i'm building out here clearly if you're just looking to get your feet wet you could just go with the squat stand you could go with the four post um, stand as well you could go foot stabilizers if you want um, so here's one of the caveats that i'm actually curious about and i'm sure it's something that they are going to correct in the future they actually have a rear stabilizer that you can buy if you're going to go with the lat pull down, which we'll see right now in the options here. And I'm surprised that they don't sell the rear stabilizer as a part all by itself. Um, something they're probably going to add to the list once they have uh, inventory built up. But as of right now, you cannot do that. So listen, we're going full. We're going all in on this power rack. Wow. $2,252. That's before any coupon codes or discounts. Um, and that is going to ship October 15th. I know a lot of people don't like buying pre-sales. I'm never really nervous about that because I feel like I'm going to be one of the first ones to get it. Also, co companies tend to be fairly accurate with that pre-sale date. And when you look at the calendar, October 15th from the time I'm shooting this video, it's not that far off. The only thing I'm really curious about, and frankly, it's probably a non-issue. I just haven't gotten my hands on one of these hydras to review physically is the stability. Now with a six post rack where you have extra weight storage, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Even a four post rack where you have the lat pull down machine to add extra weight to that power rack, I don't think it's going to be an issue. However, I am concerned on the four post rack set all by itself. The uprights have stability in the front and the back of the upright, but none along the outside edge. A lot of power racks that you do see today do have a piece of metal along the outside edge, which adds about an extra half an inch on the outside for stability. Now, for most of us, I don't think it's going to be an issue either way, but it is something of a concern if you just have those four post rack without any extra weight storage and you're doing like pull-ups or you're doing something that involved like heavy squats where you're trying to rack or unrack the weight if that is going to be an issue based on how long they took to develop these and get these things into production i imagine it's not an issue but i certainly want to get my hands on it to try out Overall, I am a massive fan of Bells of Steel in general for the fact that they've got really good transparency, they've got great prices, and 
Whenever a company puts out new pieces of home gym equipment, it's just good for the consumer. And frankly, Bells of Steel, thumbs up to you for making a product that is interchangeable with a lot of the other competitors. Because some of us, you know, you go with one company and you decide, oh, maybe I don't want to pay the extra money for some of the attachments going forward. Or you go with one company and you realize, ah, maybe I don't like that company. I want to go with another company, but I don't want to give up on the stuff that I already paid for. You want to make sure that there is interchangeability. Also, huge thumbs up for Bells of Steel for allowing the, the ability to upgrade, to really transition as your home gym grows and as you decide to maybe develop your own home gym or even as funds come in. Most other companies, unfortunately, lock you in to a specific rack. And then if you want to upgrade or even transfer, everything on that rack is relatively useless and has to be purchased again. And that is a huge chunk of change and it can be very frustrating. Overall, I love to see this. I love to see what Bells of Steel is, is doing on all their fronts with regards to their social media, with regards to the new products, and with the fact that they plan to release even more attachments. Currently, they have 15 attachments listed here, which is great because if you have a power rack, you love your attachments to add that versatility. But in terms of some of the interviews I've seen with their owner, they do have a number of attachments coming out later this year and next year in terms of stuff that they're hoping to release. And frankly, if you've got a power rack, all you care about is more attachments because more is better. It gives you more options and it allows you to get more versatility, more variety out of the same piece of equipment, the same space that you're working out in. Now, let me know in the comments below your opinion of this Hydra series. Is it something you're interested in? Is it something that you would consider? Is it something that just doesn't really move the needle? I would like to see them maybe add some colors because I am a bit biased on red and black. So maybe I'd like to see them add colors options of this going forward. But since they just released this, I can't give them too much shade because I'm sure they've got a number of plans in the in the future, but they just got to do it one step at a time. So huge thumbs up to Bells of Steel, and hopefully in the future I'll get my hands on one of these bad boys and take it for a spin. If you came this far in the video, you and I are officially best friends. That's right, Chip and Dale, best friends, shake and bake. You know how it is. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hey, if you're feeling generous, hit the like and the subscribe button, and then we can be ultra best friends like B.A. Baracus and Hannibal. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.